Hello, I'm down at the park with the uh, S500 quadcopter with the gimbal on the front. So as you can see there I have the run cam at the back stuck there so we can see, for this first flight at least, we can see um, how the quad is moving. Uh, I kind of like to watch how the quad moves in line of sight to get a, a, a good comparison as well. So in the second flight I'll take the run cam off and I'll stick it on my hat so we can see uh, from outside the quad how it's moving while it flies and we can look at both sets of video together and uh, get an idea of how well this gimbal is performing. Um, I've stuck it on the front there, it's a bit of a hairy way of doing it really, it's just a piece of plywood sandwiching down onto a piece of rather thick neoprene sort of material and it's stuck on there pretty good but it's a little bit a little bit sort of slanting downwards in a strange way and I did a quick test at home in the backyard and there's getting a little bit of shuddering just a little bit you'll see in a minute probably So I'm not sure if that's coming from my strange mounting or whether it's just not quite getting enough damping through these damping balls. Anyway, without further ado, let's do a little bit of flying.
See the gimbal gimbal has slipped right out of my little holder and I had it on full throttle there and I didn't hear any beeping from this which has three lights on it still but I just had no power at all hmm that's a bit disappointing so I don't think I can I don't think I can reattach this without going home, so, um... Alrighty, well I've come back down here. I had to go home and, and fix this. The only thing that was broken, actually, was the the bobbins, or a couple of the bobbins slipped out. Um, well, all of them slipped out. But the only thing that's actually broken is this little piece there. If we can see, that's uh, cracked, because it came in like that, I guess. But it's working enough to land on still, so that's kind of nice. I'll just tape it up a little bit and this time I have the run cam attached to my hat so we can look at what it looks like in line of sight, but unfortunately the run cam audio is completely useless, so even if I'm talking while I'm doing it, um, you probably won't be able to hear it unfortunately, but we can still, we can still look at the video. Anyway, let's do it.
Don't come too close, okay? So close. Just about did the same thing. So that's what happened last time. <laughs> Except I couldn't save it. enough of that, you just lose the power for some reason. just not when it's going sideways.
still too steep of an angle for very long. there so stop at that point so hopefully that should give you a pretty good idea of, of how the, the gimbal works so this is all default settings except I have turned IMU2 to be on so that's the full option in the settings so hope that was informative thanks for watching see you later